Dave. And in my hand, I have a funky looking little e-cig. Looks a bit like a zebra. In fact, it's called the Zebra Electronic Cigarette. And it was sent to me by a company called electriczebra.com. They sent me this little starter kit to review for you. Um, I thought we'd have a little look, see what you get in the box when you buy one, and then we could talk a bit about how well it works. So it's a rather neat little box that you receive when you buy uh, this starter kit. Um, let's have a look and see what's inside. Um, first thing you get is a little card that explains that it's uh, you can take a zebra anywhere. Um, it also says that it's safe and legal to use a zebra electric cigarette anywhere in the UK. Uh, the smoking ban is not applicable to electronic cigarettes as no tobacco is burnt when product is used. Then it says the zebra produces water vapour, not smoke, so there is no risk of passive smoking. Now, that I don't think that's correct. It makes reference on the website and also on the packaging. It's not water vapour that's produced. Um, the the vapour is basically vaporised PG. Um, so. That, that's a little bit misleading. Uh, we don't need to pretend that there's water vapour in these things. Uh, it's not a major issue. Uh, including a line like that wouldn't prevent me from buying an electronic cigarette. But I think if you're gonna if you're gonna state facts, make sure they are factual. Um, it's not water vapour. It's PG in the vapour. Uh, it's still harmless, it's still not going to cause any problems. It doesn't break any uh, of the smoking laws but it's not water. So I just wanted to say that. It says the vapour is odourless and evaporates in seconds and it then says the striped zebra is the first electric cigarette designed so it cannot be mistaken for a traditional cigarette. Um, I kind of understand what they're saying. They're saying that because it's got a zebra pattern on it, it can't be mistaken for a, a cigarette. But they're not the first company to produce something of this form factor uh, with a green LED on the end, so it can't be mistaken for a cigarette. And that's an electronic cigarette that I don't believe would be mistaken for a real one anyway. But again, I'm being very picky here. I'm being picky. Um, I don't have a major issue with anything that's on there, but but guys, if you're watching this, and I'm sure you will, you know, uh, tell it like it is, you know. There's uh, an instruction manual uh, which explains uh, what's in the cartridge, and that's all good. Uh, it refers to a study done by New Zealand Health Limited, uh, which which concluded that inhalation toxicity is not an issue with these things. Uh, it explains that they do 12 milligram and 18 milligram cartridges, uh, and I'll a little observation on that in a minute. Uh, there's a diagram showing how the electronic cigarette works, and this particular type uh, consists of two pieces. You've got a cartomizer, so that's got your atomizing heating coil and the juice reservoir all in one unit, uh, which is, I would say, fairly standard approach these days, uh, and a battery, uh, which is nice and stripy, like a zebra. And I kind of like that, to be honest. Um, one thing that I do want to mention, and that is that looking at this on the camera, you may be forgiven for thinking this is a 510 thread, which is the most commonly uh, available atomizer and cartomizer uh, thread out there these days. It isn't. It's not a 510 thread. Uh, so be aware if you're buying this kit, then uh, unless you've can do a better job than I can of tracking down this thread size because uh, I've been unable to identify it. You won't be able to use that with 510 atomizers or cartomizers bought from anywhere else. Uh, it's not a big problem, but it would be if you were planning on saving a few quid on buying cartomizers and filling them yourself, for example. The battery is charged using the provided charger which I have here. As I say, it resembles most of the USB 510 chargers that you can pick up from almost any uh, vaping website these days, but the thread is different. It's not a 510. It's designed for this battery specifically. You screw your battery in there, you plug that into a USB uh, outlet. Uh, I use a powered USB hub. 
uh, which makes sure I get good good voltage and it's not connected to my computer that's just a personal preference um, when I plug this in a red light comes on while the battery is charging uh, and when that red light turns to a green light your battery is fully charged and you can remove it connect your cartomizer and it's ready to use the kit comes with a box of five uh, cartridges what they call stay fresh cartridges uh, in this particular kit they've sent me uh, five 18 milligram warm roast USA tobacco flavor uh, I've got one of those on here uh, they've also though uh, in the envelope that the box came in they sent me uh, a variety of other things as well so I've got uh, a menthol one here which we'll try in a minute and I've got a 12 milligram warm roast USA tobacco and I've got a classic UK tobacco also 12 milligram so I've got three different types here that I'm going to try um, you can see there's a spare battery that's useful uh, I don't know how many milliamp hours this battery is rated at but I probably myself using a setup like this I'm only probably going to get about an hour's use out of a battery this size uh, so it's good to have another one because you can have one on charge while you're using this one and that's about all there is to say about the hardware so uh, I've hooked up a cartridge let's change the camera angle and uh, see how it works so the first thing you notice with this is it does look rather funky and it's funny I received it uh, about a week ago and I showed a picture of it to uh, Sav and Kat uh, my colleagues on Vapor Trails TV and their immediate reaction being women was ooh <laughs> they liked the look of it um, and I have to say I kind of do too I'm not sure that I'd be brave enough to walk around in public with something like this I think it might attract more attention probably attract more attention than a real cigarette to be honest with you um, but I kind of like it all the same you know so it, it is a little bit different uh, it's got a green LED on the end so when I inhale um, there's going to be no confusion in the dark if uh, you know if you're in some dark club or bar using it nobody's going to think it's a cigarette because of the green LED and I think that's a good move for these type of cigarettes um, I'll comment on the flavor in here I actually quite like the flavor and I'm not actually a lover of tobacco e-liquid flavors uh, generally speaking but this one is actually kind of pleasant I do like it uh, it's 18 milligram I'm actually in the practice of using much higher strength juices, uh, usually 45 milligram these days, uh, because I find that gives me a much more realistic simulation of uh, a cigarette. And um, uh, and when I'm just sort of vaping leisurely using devices like this, I tend to use a 24 milligram. So an 18 milligram doesn't actually provide me with any great sensation, but everybody's different um, you know the, these guys they do their studies and they know what people like um, so if you're trying your first electronic cigarette 18 is probably a good place to try performance wise you can see it's making plenty of vapor there um, that, that that's good because vapor if there's no vapor then you're not going to get any flavor and you're not going to get any sensation of throat it and I think it performs as well as other devices of this size that I've tried so when I've removed the plastic outer, uh, you get these little caps that we vapors tend to call condoms and we'll pop those off. And I'm just gonna put those safely to one side for a minute because uh, I've got one thing to show you at the end of this video. I'm gonna remove my old cartridge, my old cartomizer, pop in the new one. Let's see how it goes. Now, as with a lot of these uh, cartomizer setups, it sometimes takes a few sort of drags to, to get the thing going and getting the flavor coming through. As I say, this is a very low uh, nicotine milligram content for me, so I'm gonna struggle to get much sensation from it. But the flavor, the flavor's okay, actually. 
This one's called Classic UK Tobacco. I don't know, it might be kind of Benson and Hedgesy type of flavour. I don't know. But it's not bad. It's okay. Like I say, I'm not a huge fan of tobacco flavours. Um, but you might be. I'm just going to pop the menthol one on there. So again, I'm going to remove the end condoms. Attach it to the battery. Making sure you don't over tighten this, you don't want to damage the threads because then your battery will be no good. Oh, and that's that's actually one of the better menthols I've tried. I'm not again, I'm not a fan of menthol, but uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to deal with this issue with these odd sized cartomizers not being to my taste in a minute, but um. I can remember at school smoking conchalus and that actually isn't a bad reflection of it. That's one of the better menthols I've tried. If you're a menthol fan, that's not bad. Just a quick word on the cartomizer itself. Like just about every sort of mini e-cig uh, company out there, uh, electriczebra.com and the literature that came with the product claim that this cartomizer is equal to about 20 regular cigarettes or traditional cigarettes as they call them. Uh, I really wish companies wouldn't do that frankly. Um, I find the only way practically that you can compare one of these with what you used to smoke when you were smoking regular cigarettes is on how long they last. I used to smoke between 20 and 25 Marlboro Light cigarettes each day. That would not last me a full day. I would get through two or three of these and you need to bear that in mind. I don't have an issue with that, but I do often worry that people who are researching e for the first time think that a box of five cartomizers is gonna get them through five days because it isn't. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of balance that a little bit, talking specifically about Electric Zebra, uh, at least, their cartomizers seem to be a lot more sensibly priced compared to some. Looking at their site uh, right now, in fact, uh, they're doing, uh, until the 31st of December 2012, they're doing 14 replacement cartridges for £10. The regular price is £13.95, so just under a pound a cartridge. Uh, some companies are charging a lot more. The cartomizers are the same size, right? Everybody has a different claim about how many cigarettes they're equivalent to and some of them are more expensive than others. So Electric Zebra, the claim of equivalent equivalence to uh, regular cigarettes I don't buy. However, at least your pricing seems fairly reasonable. But I'm gonna show you a little trick now how you can make these things last a little bit longer. My cartridge is empty. Um, it didn't last me all day. I would probably use two or three of these cartridges in a day. I keep calling them cartridges. They're really cartomizers. I would probably get through two or three of these cartomizers per day. Um, thing is, once they dry up, when you've used up all of the liquid inside, uh, you don't have to buy and put a new one on. These are the condoms that came. Uh, I keep them. The condoms that came on the uh, top and bottom of the cartomizer when I took it out of the packet. Um, what I'm going to do here is show you the condom method of refilling a cartomizer. This is a juice that I do like. It's higher strength than what was in the cartomizer originally. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few drops and perhaps half fill that condom with juice. I'm going to take this end, the mouthpiece end, and push it down slowly into the condom and my juice has gone into the cartomizer. It will now continue to work until I run out of juice again. I'm just going to wipe the uh, 
the end of the cartomizer with a piece of tissue because it doesn't taste as good as it vapes and what I've got there now is a cartomizer refilled with a juice that I do like attach it to the battery and it's ready to go so here I am again this time I've got my favorite juice in there so my assessment of the uh, zebra e-cig from electroniczebra.com is pretty positive really if you want something of this form factor you know the reassurance of the size and form factor of a regular cigarette then it works pretty well to be honest with you as well as others that I've tried in this sort of category uh, I like the looks it's funky shame that you can't buy 510 it isn't a 510 thread but hey that's fair enough uh, at least you can refill these uh, as often as you like um, eventually they'll wimp off and die and won't be worth doing that with obviously but I've definitely seen worse so I hope that gives you an idea if you were thinking of getting the uh, Zebra Isig. Um, happy vaping. Thanks for watching.